Hi class, today I'm going to be talking to you about rounding. We're going to be rounding numbers to the nearest 10 or to the nearest 100. Um, the numbers that I'm talking about are that we're rounding to, if we all can count by 10s, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 100. Then if we're rounding to the nearest 100, we're going to round to 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 1,000. So we're going to be talking about rounding numbers to the nearest 10 and to the nearest 100. I'm going to show you a way to do this that will hopefully make it a lot easier for you and make it a lot easier for you. Now I've made it a board or I have a whiteboard that I'm going to use. And on the top of it, I gave you a little, what I call a little cheat sheet or help you to remember which way you go. So as I finish this, I will show you what I'm talking about. And the other thing is I tried to do it on my board. I had all my stuff up there and trying to video it because of the lights and everything. You can't hardly see it. So I'm doing it from my desk and using a whiteboard. But as you can see on here, I have the numbers. And this is just in the ones column when we're rounding to the nearest 10. If it ends in a one, two, three, or four, which is right here, we stay at that 10. For instance, if the number is 23, the three tells us to stay. I know I'm going to stay at 20, and I'm going to show you how that works. Now, if the number ends in five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we're going to round up. So if, we, if you notice, when I first started, we counted by tens. And I said 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So if I'm at 23, again, or let's say I'm at 25 and the five tells me to round up, then that means 20. I know what 10 comes after 20. I tried to keep the board right over here up so that you can see the tens listed down there. Starts at zero at the top and ends at 110 and 110 you probably can't see and you're probably having trouble seeing those two. But like I said, the glare in the room doesn't make it very easy to make these videos. So as we go through this, one, two, three, or four tells you to stay. Five, six, seven, eight, or nine wants you to round up. Wants you to round up. So as you can see, I have a number line, an open-ended number line. It's open-ended because it has arrows at both sides. That means the line, the numbers go on and on and on, both directions. So if I'm going to round to the nearest 10 and my number is 23, like that's how I first started out, my number is 23, I'm going to show you how to fill out this chart to help you. Because I know it's 23, I'm going to put 20 right here. I just bring that two and put the 20 right there. Then I know the next 10, if I go 10, 20, I know I'm going to put 30 here. Now I know it's still going to be in the 20s right here in the middle. And I'm going to tell you the five is in the middle. So we start out by going 20, 25, 30. Now, with this 23, using this number line, I'm going to mark about where I think 23 is. So I put it about right there. This is about where I think 23 is. So now I look, is that 23 closer to 20 or closer to 30? Closer to 20 or closer to 30? If you said 20, you are correct. So I would round 23 to 20. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. So these charts are going to be about the same every time. So I will erase that. Erase this stuff. 
and we're going to work on another one. And we're going to work on another one. Oh, I need to erase the top part. So now I need to make sure I have my line correct. And I have my lines underneath. And now let's say we're going to look at 46. I'm going to round 46 to the nearest 10. Again, I look right here in this first box. I bring that four straight down and put a zero beside it. Because when I say that number, don't you hear the word 40, 46? So I hear 40. Then I know that 10 more. If I look at my chart or I just know 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, I know that 50 is going to go in this one. And now I know I'm still in the 40s. And what's halfway in between 0 and 10? 5. Halfway in between 0 and 10 is 5. So 45 in the middle. So now what I need to do is if I need to look at my chart, I look at my chart. I'm looking at this number right here, the six. If it's a one, two, three, four, I stay. If it's a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, I round up. And if I come over here and I say, oh, about right there is where 46 is going to be. So I put 46 there. Now I just look, is 46 closer to 40 or closer to 50? And if you said 50, you were correct. If you were correct. So remember, this little key will help you. If it's a one, two, three, or four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, it tells you to do one thing or the other. Then, like I said, you're just looking right now at the number in the ones column. This number is in the tens column. We're going to eventually get to a number in the hundreds column. And if you just think of the words or the H2O, H2O, that means hundreds, tens, ones. We always start out. If you write one number down, that's in the ones. If you put a number beside it, now it's in the tens. Put a number beside that, the number's in the hundreds. And we're going to get into the thousands and the ten thousands eventually. So I'll race my board again, and we will practice another one. We will practice another one. We're eventually going to get into the hundreds here in just a second. So I make my line. And if you notice, it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. It's kind of squiggly. Doesn't matter. I put a line here, a line in the middle, and a line at the end. Put my lines underneath. Put my lines underneath. And let's say we're looking for the nearest 10 of 78. And we're going to round to the nearest 10 for 78. Who thinks they know what goes on this first line? Remember, listen to the number, 78. If you said 70, you were correct. Now I'm going to go to this one. What 10 comes after 70? If you were counting by 10s, what 10 would come after 70? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And if you said 80, you are correct. So now I have 70 and 80. I know that this number is between those two tens. Now to fill out this box, again, I know it's going to be 7. And remember what I said, what was halfway between 0 and 10? That is 5. So now I have my number line, 70, 75, 80. And so now I need to think, where would 78 be on this line? So if I was counting, I'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, eight's going to be probably right in here. So 78 would be right there. If I still quite don't understand what, num what 10 it's closest to, I'm going to come right back up here to my chart. One, two, three, or four. Remember, I'm looking at this number right here. One, two, three, or four. Or five, six, seven, eight, or nine. It's an eight. So it's on this one, which means we round up. So we would round up to 80. 
we would go to 80. Okay, we're going to practice a couple more. We're going to practice a couple more, and then we're going to get into the hundreds. Then we're going to get to the hundreds. Okay, I make my line again, my arrows. Then I make my three lines on this line, put my line underneath it. And let's say the number is um, 20, or no, let's do another number. How about 40, 44. We'll do the number 44. If the number is 44, I know right here is going to be 40. Bring that four down, put a zero beside it. What 10 comes after 40? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then halfway in between, I know it's still going to be in the 40s. And I told you halfway between 0 and 10 is always 5. So 40, 45, 50. Basically, they're, you're counting by fives. 40, 45, 50. Okay. And then if it was 20, it'd be 20, 25, 30. So now I figure out the 44. Again, I'm looking at that number right there, which they're both the same, but I'm still only looking at that first four. And I'm going to say, hmm, 41, 42, 43. Oh, I bet you 44 is going to go right in there. Now I look on my chart. If it's between these two, then it stays at 40. If it's between these two, then it goes to 50. So this one stays at 40, stays at 40. Okay, now I'm going to erase this and let's move on. And actually, let's stay in the tens, but I'm going to do something a little bit different because we're still rounding to the nearest 10. So I still make my line, make my arrows halfway and at the end. So line there, line there, line there. Now, here's where it's going to be a little trickier, but this time I'm going to use 137. I'm still rounding to the nearest 10. I'm still rounding to the nearest 10. I'm still looking at this number. So I still think 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then 100. But here, I'm going to put the 1 and the 3 down and then put a 0. So 130. Then, if I count by 10s, 110, 120, 130, 140. Now I'm at 140. And again, I'm going to put 135. So basically, if you don't look at that 100, it's basically the same as doing the just the tens, but because we have the hundreds in there, I got to put it in there. 130, 135, 140. Now, still looking at the seven. The seven still tells me to round up, but I still need to figure out where it's going to go on this line. 136, 137. So I'd put 137 about right there. Then I'm looking. What is it closest to? Is it closer to the 40? 140, or is it closer to 130? And if you said 130, you are correct, or sorry, you are incorrect. It should be 140. 137 is rounded to 140. 140, or sorry, not and, but 140. Okay, erase my board now. I want to go on and quickly, because this we've been doing this for a little bit. Now I'm going to round to the nearest hundred. And I'm pretty sure that you can count by hundreds. If we say zero, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So that's what we're going to be rounding to is one of those numbers. So again, I make my line. I make my line. And now I make the line here, the line in the middle, the line at the end. I make my lines down below. So I know I put a number down there. 
and let's say we have 157. 157. So now what I have to do, since I'm going to the nearest hundred, I'm staying in the hundreds. This time I'm going to be looking at this number right here. I'm going to be looking at that number right there to tell me whether I stay or go to the next hundred. But I'm going to put 100 down here. What comes after 100? What 100 comes after 100? And if you said 200, you are correct. Now, halfway in between 100 and 200, or halfway in between 0 and 100, is the number 50. So notice like in the tens, between zero and 10, it was five. Now between zero and 100, it's 50. And then I put the one there. So now I have 100, 150, 200. Now I'm rounding to the nearest 100. So I look in the tens column. Remember, we have the three numbers, hundreds, tens, ones, hundreds, tens, ones. I'm looking at the tens column now to round to the nearest hundred. And the five tells me that I have to round up. So, but if I'm looking in between here, there's 150. I know that 157 is going to come somewhere after 150. So it's on that part. So now it's in between these two numbers. That's what tells me that I need to round up. So I'm going to round 157 to 200. 157 rounds to 200. This middle box is always going to be filled out the same, whether in, like in the hundreds, it's going to be filled out the same way. When you're in the tens, it's going to be um, end with a five. When you're in the rounding to the nearest hundred, it's going to end in a zero. See, this number ends in two zeros. This one ends in two zeros. This one's just going to end in one zero. And we know that five comes in between 10 or zero and 100 or zero and 10. And then 50 comes in between zero and 100 or 100 and 200. So now I'm going to do another one, one more. And then I'm going to give you some time or you're going to practice on a page that's right after this video. That's right after this video. So I'm going to make one more. And I also know that Mrs. Smith is going to um, kind of, let me see to make sure, but I think she is oh, going to do bar graphs, but then, hmm. This might be your only lesson this week about rounding, but I know that they'll probably talk about it a little bit in each lesson. So here we make my line. I make my three lines, one at the beginning, one in the middle, one at the end, put my lines underneath. And then let's say I have 269, 269. Again, I'm going because I'm going to the hundreds, I know I'm staying at 200. My next hundred is 300. And I know right in the middle, I'm going to put the two and I'm going to write the number 50. So all I'm doing is from, from the tens to the hundreds is the five is in for the tens. I just scoot it over and put a zero beside it. So halfway in between 200 and 300 is 250. Now I've got to figure out where 269 is going to go on my line. I know it's not going to be between 200 and 250. I do know that it's going to be between 250 and 300. So if I would go, let's say I'd go 260, 270, 280, 290, 300. So 260, 270. So I'm going to say it's probably about right in there, 269. And now I can see very simply that it is very close to 300. So I'm going to round 269 to 300.
I'm going around 269 to 300. Now, real quick, I'm going to leave a couple things up here, but I want to talk about place value, which that's what this is, hundreds, tens, ones. If I just write down one number, if I just write down one number, it's in the ones column. So I put a seven in the ones column. A seven in the ones column. Then if I put a number beside it, that is now in the tens column. So that's the ones column. That's the tens column. If I put a third number down, it's now in the hundreds column. So just simple place value. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So I'll even write that on the board. Ones, tens, and hundreds. That's, so that's where I get the H two, zero, hundreds, tens, ones. The other thing I want to point out real quick is if your number ends in one, two, three, or four, you're going to stay at that 10 or that hundred. If your number ends in five, six, seven, eight, or nine, then you're going to round up to the next 10 or the next hundred. And if you use that chart, that arrow and fill that out each time, it's going to make it a lot easier for you. It's going to make it a lot easier for you. So hopefully you understand what we talked about. We, if we were in class, we would be doing a lot more examples and you would be doing it on your whiteboards, but try to make your chart. If you have to put this up there, remember that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, stay, round up. You can also make your place value chart, hundreds, tens, ones. When you're filling out this chart, this chart, if you're going to the nearest 10, this one's going to end in five. So like 25. If you're going to the nearest hundred, then it's going to be something 50. It's going to be something five for the tens and something 50 for the hundreds. So hopefully that helps you out. And I do know that if you go on YouTube and say something about um, rounding, there'll be all kinds of videos on YouTube to help you out to understand rounding to the nearest 10 or the nearest 100. Thanks guys for listening and tomorrow you'll be with Mrs. Smith and she's going to be talking about bar graphs. She'll be talking about bar graphs. See you later.